What's up guys, it's your boy Lucas here, welcome back to another video, so glad to see you guys back here. As you all know, the Boya BYA M1 Pro, which is the microphone that I have on here, has a headphone output and also the Boya BYA M1 Plus, but you cannot monitor the audio while you're recording. After doing a lot of research and tests, I finally found a way that you can monitor audio with the Boya BYA M1 Pro or with the Plus or any other microphone like the Rode Video Micro that I have here while recording. That's right, there is a way that you can monitor the audio live when you're recording your videos on your smartphone. There are two ways that you can do this and I'm going to explain how in a second. Let's start with the cheapest way and that is by using ProTake which is a free app on the App Store which gives you the ability to monitor your audio levels. You can't listen to the audio live but unlike the normal app that comes with a phone you can adjust and monitor your audio levels. The setup is pretty simple you just open the ProTake app and then you'll see on the left the audio levels you can just tap on that and then you'll see two tabs, microphone and level. On the microphone, you will see phone only turned on because right now it's using the microphone on the phone itself and external and Bluetooth is off. If I connect the microphone to my phone right now, external will turn on. So right now it's using the external microphone, which is the BYM1 Pro. If you have an iPhone and it has a lightning port, you do need a lightning to 3.5 millimeter jack so you can use the microphone or plug the microphone into your phone. So keep that in mind. Link is in the description for this adapter. Like I said, external is now turned on because the phone is recognizing that the microphone is plugged into the phone. You can now go to level and turn off auto gain so you can manually set the gain and you can just turn it down. As you can see, it's turning down. If I go to 23%, the gain is you know green a little bit of yellowish so that is good if i turn it up it will go right into red which means that the audio is clipping right now so you can adjust the audio level on the phone which is not what you can do on the camera app and you can you know monitor your audio levels another app that you can use to monitor your audio is filmic pro unlike pro take filmic pro is not free it costs around 16.99 euro at the time of making this video it does give you the possibility to monitor your audio while listening to it. Besides the app, there are other things that you also need like this splitter that splits into a headphone port and a microphone port. Make sure this end is TRRS so it has to have three rings. This one is from a company called Ugreen. It is very good and very affordable. If you want to check it out, link is in the description. This one is also pretty easy to set up. I'm gonna unplug the microphone from the adapter and then plug this splitter into the adapter and then i'm gonna plug the microphone into the microphone port which is this one and then i'm gonna plug my headphone into the headphone port now let's open the filmic pro app and then go to settings and then go to audio and then we'll see iphone mic bottom iphone mic front iPhone mic back and iPhone mic stereo. It doesn't recognize the Boya BY M1 Pro yet because these ports are TRS port. So right now the, the Boya BY M1 Pro is switched to phone and when switching to phone it uses the whole cable, the TRRS part of the cable. So I have to switch to camera, recording on camera, so it will switch to TRS part of the cable. When I do that, you will immediately see headset microphone. So keep that in mind when using this splitter, you have to use the TRS cable part of the microphone. The Boya BY-M1 Plus comes with two of these, mic of these cables, the TRRS cable and the TRS cable. So you'll use this one, the TRS. The BY-M1 Pro does come with one cable but you can switch between recording on a phone and recording on a camera i know we are recording on a phone right now but you'll need to use the trs part of the cable so by doing that or if you want to do that you'll have to switch from phone to camera and then the app will recognize the microphone plugged into the phone when you're done selecting your headset microphone you can change the audio format if you want you don't have to but if you want you can choose pcm AIFF or AAC. You do not need to change the audio format, but if you're gonna use Premiere Pro, it is better to use AAC. Uh, according to Filmic Pro, they recommend the AAC as audio format as Premiere has bugs associated with AIFF and PCM audio. So 
audio format only change it to AAC if you're gonna record audio and edit it in Premiere Pro if you want to adjust the audio levels there's a white bar right underneath the time code right under here you can scroll it to left it will bring the audio levels down or you can scroll it to right and bring the audio levels up as you can see it's clipping right now so left or go to right if you want to adjust that so those are the two ways that you can monitor your audio while recording with the Boya BYM1 Pro, the Plus, or any other microphone. If you learned something new from this video, or if I made the Boya BYM1 Pro or the Plus a better product for you, make sure you smash that like button down here. It would help this channel a lot. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You know, turn on the notification bell also. Follow me on my other social media. Links are in the description down here. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.